So our main event then in Milan, 12 rounds for the vacant EBU European Union cruiserweight title, Fabio Turkey, 18 and one, just that sole career defeat for Dylan Brajon, the sole draw, it was a majority draw, that was uh, for the vacant French cruiserweight title against Cyril Macchiardi. Well, clear advantages in height and reach, straight away. Chris, you can see him, he's towering over Turkey there. He's a bit instantly obvious as well, the wide elbows, and we know how well Turkey does kind of really turn those knuckles over with the body shots and find those gaps if they're there to be found. Yeah. Just whether he will start to close that gap as this fight goes on. I was about to say as well, Turkey throws a really good stiff jab to the body. Turkey up on his toes a little bit more than he normally is as well. He's, uh, he's normally quite flat-footed. Steps around the ring quite a bit. He's quite bouncy tonight. Something that we often see with southpaw and orthodox fighters tripping over each other's front leg. Especially as he's kind of shuffling yeah. into range. Yeah. He hasn't got that foot on the outside. He's, he's going to find himself in that position. And he, of course. He is, it's, uh, Rajon is just getting his foot on the outside at the moment, just kind of cutting off that, that entry point. No uncommon at all. Yeah, he really is. Yeah, he's, um, that's a good left hand from Turkey. Yeah, he's, you can see that um, Brujan, he is trying to keep your his foot on the outside, and it's, it is a good tactic against the southpaw. Just takes a stiff jab there. Yeah, nice jab there from Brujan. Threw it from a good range as well. Yeah, he can't a hold bit. his feet at that range. Yeah, though. yeah, he can't. No, I was just about to say that, Chris. He's maybe um, going to get a little bit of confidence from that jab there. Seems to be popping it out now more regularly than what it was, certainly, in the first round. That's something that we'll see and expect from Turkey to be targeting the body. We saw a, a masterclass in, in distance control from... Lawrence Akoli against Istov Glavatsky in this very division a few weeks ago, secured the, the WBO Cruiserweight World title. Yeah. And of course, the, the danger ever present in the right hand isn't quite the same against uh, Brijon. But so far, he's, he's managing the distance pretty well, just limiting the opportunities that Turkey has to, to get into range and let the hands go. And that's what he needs to do because yeah. the more he works that body, the yeah. harder the later rounds are going to be for Brijon if he gets that far. So that was yeah. a good combination there from Turkey. Yeah, because he was, he, his, his feet were in a good position to throw punches. He wasn't bouncing around. So these are the kinds of, kinds of shots and combinations and attacks that Turkey can get off um, when he's ready to punch. But I think as you're bouncing around like that, especially against a taller opponent, you know, it's, it's a lot more difficult to attack. Who will clinch the... Uh EBU European Cruiserweight title tonight. Been a good start from the Frenchman Dylan Brajon. Can uh, Fabio Turkey just start to crank the tempo up and just see what the Frenchman's made of? Stiff right hand through the middle from Brajon. That's better from Turkey. Slipping and sliding in at range. Well, Brijon has given him some trouble, Chris. You are right, he has given him some trouble. You know, I think I'm maybe being a little bit too much. It's, it's not what Turkey's doing. Well, that was better. Just, yeah, it was better, the, yeah. The second phase with that one, two down the middle. Just tried to walk him onto a kind of looping right hook. Well, I think Turkey has maybe came down off his feet a little bit. Seems to be edging his way in now, Chris, and not so much. Bouncing around on the outside. He's in the head there just to rough Berjan up. I think what surprises both Alex is having watched these two previously, knowing how physically strong and, and the stature of, of Turkey, the way that he likes to fight, that, that Berjan has actually kind of almost been a physical match when they've got up close. He hasn't yeah. been pushed back anywhere near as easily as he's looked in some of his other contests. Whether he's been working on strength and conditioning, when he came yeah, in 197 maybe, yeah. pounds, he's got plenty to spare. He's not heavily muscled by any stretch. 
but he's uh, he's been very steadfast in holding centre ring, just moving around in small circles, not giving yeah. up ground. It's very impressive. This is where that seasoned engine of Fabio Turkey, the grit, the strength, starts to break the Frenchman down. It hasn't been in those real attritional fights to this stage, and although he's been largely the better boxer for the first half of this fight, is this where Turkey starts to narrow that gap? He needs to, in truth. Better response from the Italian. Uh, Bajon letting his hands go, but Turkey now at mid range. Oh, good a, shot. Lands a good solid left hand and another one. It's taking him a while to get into range, but he is now there. Yeah. This is when he becomes a real danger. He'd be a danger. He's a danger for anyone at, in the cruiserweight division when he when he gets into that momentum and that punching range and he starts to find his way around the side of your elbows. And I've not seen his effective overhand chop and left that he throws yet either. It's a little better this from Brujon. Boxing and moving. Oh, oh, lovely one, two there from Fabio Turkey. As the Frenchman felt that, again, just sticks the uppercut through the middle. Holds on. Oh, the most meaningful shot that Turkey's landed. Certainly the most eye catching. But Brujon looks clear headed. Yeah, he does. I was just about to say he's recovered well, hasn't he? Yeah. Clearly seen that shot coming. Yeah, certainly starting to turn the momentum, isn't he? But he was. He That's was a good little shot there, aren't him? Right at the end of Brujon's straight shots for the first yeah. four or five rounds. Yeah, and every time Brajan steps backwards, he's still putting that jab out. Yeah, he's getting shots. something out. He's getting something out there, yeah. Well, both landed good shots there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, as well, Chris, there's nothing wrong with Brujon's chin. No, there isn't. <laughs> Stiff right hand as Turkey tried to step into range. Heard and the 10-second clapper, and he's letting his hands go to Frenchman just to try and put the punctuation mark on the round. That'll give a, Turkey a little glare there at the end as well. This is what I thought we'd see quite a lot of. Yeah, same. You know, Turkey pressing forward behind stiff straight shots, a couple of arcing shots to finish. As soon as he was on the inside, the hands would be working away quite freely, but it's not been the case. But he's going to have to start digging in in these championship rounds, Fabio Turkey, because uh, this is close. Nice left hand. It was around the sixth round where he just started to close that gap over Dylan Brajan, having been at the end of the jab and the right hand for, well, five of the first six rounds at least. Brajan really digging in now. Yeah, he really is, yeah. He looks far from, from done, far from beat. No, not the first time. Was it low? Just maybe just after on the, the break, break yeah. yeah. I think that's maybe the third time that's happened in the contest. So, referee just giving him a break. Oh, that's better from Fabio Turkey. Yep, good quick attack there. So plenty left in the tank, deep into this contest, trying to chip away to the body on the inside, but Brajon responds. Both just sensing that this is in the balance going into these championship rounds. Brujan dug a decent body shot himself in there. He did. That was, in fact, what we thought might be the defining oh. characteristic of the fight. Nice counter left hand from Turkey. Yeah, it was. Every time, Brujan's taking it well. Clash of heads. Is there a cut? There is. Uh, yeah. The left eye. And he's got, well, three minutes 45 to see that out. It's just running. Down just the side, on the outside, bit yeah. Going in the yeah. Eye there. Turkey goes for it straight away. Well, as you'd expect. Yeah. Does he, does he fairly need a big round or two here? He wants to finish this strongly and then really go for it in the 12th. Turkey will sense momentum shifting in his favour. Stiff left hand down the middle, then a right off the back of it. The two just going to work it. 
Oh, how different this is to what we were watching six or seven rounds ago. They'll be shouting at them too. And they'll both want to have the last word. Jean trying to free some space up with that left hook, chops the short right up. I got through on the inside, gives him a bit of space behind the one, two, the 10 second clap of sounds as our main event draws to a close here at the Allianz Cloud in Milan. Terrific fight, big <laughs> just left like you hand said, on the Chris. belt from Fabio Turkey. You knew it was going to happen. Yeah, just like you said. Well, if he has got the win, he's had to really dig it out. Who will lift the European Union title? Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a nice round of applause out here from both of these fighters. After 12 rounds of action here in Milan, we go to the judges' score totals. All three judges scored this bout identical. 115 to 113 for your winner by unanimous decision and the new European Union Cruiserweight Champion, L'Orgullo di Ferenzi, Fabio Stone Crusher Turkey. Thank you.